Do your old hair and makeup looks have you in a holiday as well? If that's the case, we're gonna show you two amazing hair and makeup looks today that you won't wanna miss. A new year means a new you. What better way to kick off 2017 than with fresh makeup and hair? Today, we're at Alibi Salon in Soho to get some festive looks for the year of the rooster. For your look today, we're gonna do more of a bold eye. Um, always doing a bold eye, you should pair a new lip for it to kind of balance the face. And um, we're gonna be giving you a really, really nice glow. Everyone in the winter tends to get a little bit more dry, so you wanna look like you just got back from vacation with your glowing skin. For Marissa, we're going to be doing more of a natural eye with more of a bold lip for in honor of the Chinese New Year, um, which red is the most uh, frequent color. So we're going to be doing a nice red lip on her. So for her Chinese New Year look, what I did was I kept the skin very clean, focused on the lip. Um, I wanted it to be very glowy and soft. So we did just a little bit of contouring, a little bit of contouring in the crease. We did gold tones on the cheekbone and on the lid. And then with the lip, I didn't want to go with like a really strong red, but I wanted to keep it red. So we did just a little pop of color on the lip. I absolutely love it, Austin. And thank you for this amazing job. We're kind of, we kind of did it um, facing away the mirror. So the second I turned around and looked myself in the mirror, I was like, whoa, who is that? I can't wait to go out and have fun for Chinese New Year with this look. How can people take inspiration from this time of year and apply it to their makeup? Um, I think everyone should be a little bit more daring. So the holidays are a perfect time to kind of inspire you to maybe do, you know, that one look that you were scared to do. So throw on that glitter, throw on that crazy lip color and just be bold. So now I'm smoking out the lower lash line, which is going to accentuate her eye. What tips do you have for contouring? Like, I feel like I'm, I look like a pumpkin with hair and my face is so round, so how does one bring it in? Something that I always tell people for contour is you always want to start from the top of the ear and you're going to be heading um, towards the crease of the mouth. Since we did such a smoky look on the eye, we don't want it to compete too much. So this is just going to bring out that lift, but not overpower the eyes or look like too much. Mm. I'm going nude on camera, guys. <gasps> wow, this looks amazing. She did a great job. I really like the uh, color that she chose to do. When I think smoky, I think like gray or black, but this just takes it to the next level. Um, it's got this like, bur beautiful purple hue to it. My contour is also on point. I look fantastic. Also, the, uh, the nude lip does not compete at all with my eyes, which is very essential. Okay, well, our makeup is done now. Now it's time to give our hair a little bit of attention. Today with Marissa's hair, we are going to do a style for the new year. She has amazing hair. It's extremely dense, but it is very healthy. Because her makeup is a more natural, soft look, I still want to, and she has a rounder face, I still want to keep the look to be soft and formal, but elegant, nothing too crazy, no harsh lines. So I'm going to softly curl it all and then I'm going to pin it back and almost do like a rolled up look, which is going to keep it very, very elegant, a little more of an edge to it. You can do this style when you're going for a more glamorous look, as in New Year's, or if you're just going out with your friends, you can do it way less va va boom, way less curl and just kind of throw it up and pin it back. All right, Marissa, this is your look. How do you feel? I feel very elegant, very good, and my mother always wanted to be an, an elegant lady, and then for sure this time she'll appreciate what you've done to my hair. It's very nice. For the holidays, you're going to holiday parties, you just want to look a little bit extra glam. Totally. Show everyone what they've been missing throughout exactly. the, rest of the calendar year. So what I'm thinking is doing a soft wave, but instead of keeping it so structured. I'm going to kind of break it up a little bit so it looks a little bit more current. You can brush it into more of an S wave, Ooh. which gives you a very vintage look, but I want it to be a little bit more modern, so I'm going to add texture to it. So, volume. Lots of volume. For once, my uh, hair's volume actually matches my <laughs> vocal volume, so that is always good. I love this. I feel so elegant, but like sexy at the same time, and New Year's is all about that. You have to start the New Year right. Yeah. 
We are so ready to go grab some cocktails and bring in 2017, so shall we? Yes, we shall. All right. In the dance floor.